Hello, hello, it is Chris Raquel and I am back again with another video today. I hope you all are doing well. I did want to stop in. I hope you're having an amazing Friday. Ran a lot of errands today. Um, my husband and I stopped at this new place that we had never tried before. But yeah, anyway, this video is about something else. <laughs> this video is about a specific topic that was requested by someone that is close to me. They asked me to do a video about women needing to lose weight. And when this topic was proposed to me, I at first said to myself, um, I don't think I'm in that position <laughs> to be talking about that topic. However, as you all know, I am pregnant. I am coming on my last couple months of pregnancy. I am in my third trimester. Um, so I even mentioned the topic to my husband and he told me, you know, anyone who has sense um, will be able to um, absorb any of the information that I'm providing. Um, and speaking of pregnancy and, you know, where I'm at with that, I have been really active. I mentioned before in my other videos about this topic about pregnancy that I had gained a lot of weight initially. You know, normally people gain more weight in their second and third trimester, but I was, I gained a lot of weight or more than what would be recommended based on my size weight um, prior to pregnancy. I think my max would have been like, I can either gain no weight up to like 15, 20 pounds. And I um, gained, I'm 5'11". I gained a total of 40 so far. And I'm proud to say in the last six weeks, I haven't gained anything. And that's just due to me uh, upping my cardio and focusing on that. So I, I'm, I'm excited about that because that just means that I've been working out a little bit more. And of course, I'm only doing what I can do. So whether it's, I mean, I want to consider it low impact, but let's say these are the same workouts and exercises that I had done before I was pregnant. But now I, instead of doing jumping jacks, I'll run in place, you know, making sure one foot's on the ground, that sort of thing. But anyway, everything's going well, so I'm ecstatic about that. So that brings me to my point. So my sister asked me to do a video about women and needing to lose weight. So my sister is very um, straight to the point and that was the topic that she thought I, that would be beneficial to some women. So I definitely can speak about that. Um, when it comes to that, we, when I've, when I've spoken about dating and weight and things like that, I've mentioned that we need to make sure that we're healthy for ourselves. Um, I mentioned before to some of you that um, the weight gain that I experienced through the pregnancy was very surprising to me because I had always thought that regardless, there's a way for women to not, you know, gain a bunch of weight, like maybe gain like 10, 15 pounds. And I realized everybody's different. So I definitely sympathize with the women who have had children now that I'm pregnant myself. Um, but what I realized for me at least in order for me to not really gain weight, I have to work out more. So let's say when you were when you were not pregnant, you weren't doing any exercise really. That wasn't my case, but let's say that was you. Now when you're pregnant, if you don't want to, depending on how your hormones, hormones are, you may have to work out a lot. So me, I think I mentioned before I was gonna start going to the gym, but after consulting with my husband, um, we've decided to, do walks on the weekend and then like during the weekday I do um I continue to do my cardio my dances that's how I feel most comfortable exercise and that's the most fun for me so let's say the recommended amount is 150 minutes per week I do more than that in terms of cardio but I make sure that I'm comfortable with it um so yeah I'm, I was so excited I was like I haven't gained any weight so that just tells me that everyone's Everyone um, is different. Everyone is unique in terms of what works for them. So, so on to weight. I definitely sympathize more. Um, but in terms of the weight, it's so important that we're healthy. And I oftentimes address my videos towards women. However, 
this applies to men as well of course but i'm going to primarily focus on women for this video when you're dating you want to come to a place where you are whole you're happy in yourself you're taking care of yourself and you're loving yourself part of loving yourself is making sure you are healthy making sure that you can get to the best place that you can physically and assuming you're not pregnant <laughs> um you're going to want to make sure that you are eating well not in taking a lot of calories i just saw something on instagram that really kind of disturbed me it was a man he was very large i would say morbidly obese um humongous had to be about 700 no <laughs> maybe like 500 600 pounds range i can't say for certain and he said he was eating a salad he said he was craving a salad the salad was filled with boiled eggs filled with turkey meat turkey deli meat filled with ham meat filled with bacon bits filled with um other stuff he had you know those little saltine cracker packets that come with two that you have with soup when you go purchase soup somewhere he had like three or four of those and i i could even see the lettuce on the plate that was it was disturbing for me he said he was craving it and it's all fun and jokes but i didn't find it funny i found it very sad because that person is going to live a very short life someone was 500 pounds they they i don't want to put claim death death for anyone but it wouldn't be unreasonable to assume that someone who's 500 pounds would not be here within the next 10 years. So it's just very important for us to monitor our eating and our health. And it's not unreasonable for someone when they're looking to date. So I'll just say if a man is looking to date a woman and let's not even just talk about physical attraction. Yes, when you're larger, it's hard to see your beauty in your face because your face is stretched out by like fat and Things like that when i'm slim i can definitely see the beauty in my face more but it just comes down to your health it's not wrong for a man to be like i don't want someone who's overweight or extremely overweight or um slightly obese very obese because that person is not going to live long there's nothing wrong with that so you know ladies i spoke about you know when i was dating as well i made sure i exercised just for myself health purposes to make myself feel good it's a little different now because i well not now because i'm pregnant but prior to pregnancy i i noticed that like within some months um, mind you i'm 5'11 but within like eight months of marriage i noticed i had like gained like like eight pounds i was still exercising but now my the food i was cooking was different initially in my marriage you know my husband and i would never live together but initially with the foods that i was cooking i was trying to cook for him the foods that i ate which is very healthy and <laughs> it was a bit of an adjustment so i did start making other foods that i had not been eating before like i wasn't really eating rice wasn't really eating pasta things like that and i incorporated that more into the foods now that i was serving for my husband so i believe that that couple eight pounds or so uh probably a little bit more probably like 10 <laughs> pounds on my 511 frame that um was due to me changing the foods that i was eating however um i was still exercising making sure i'm being active so we just have to factor those things in, right? So if a man sees a woman, she's already extremely overweight, he may think, all right, when she gets pregnant, she's going to get huge and then she's not going to be able to lose the weight. Or, you know, when she gets married, she's going to get huge and she's not going to be able to lose the weight. And then something's going to happen to her ill. She's going to become ill. She's not going to be able to care for the kids. She's not going to live out a full life. Or as some men on some of the podcasts and things like that, that we've been seeing, they'll just be talking about a woman's weight just to bash her. But um, the reasons I'm listing are just things that are reasonable. Just like I wouldn't say a woman should be... I wouldn't say women should be searching to end up with a man who is morbidly obese because that's going to say, you know, men on average, they live fewer years than women. So if you're intentionally going to find a man who is morbidly obese, you may end up being on your own for much longer. So let's just say predetermined if both people are really healthy, no um, underlying health issues 
and both are at a normal weight range, let's say at their ages to live would be um, 80 for the man and 85 for the woman. It, well, if you end up getting with someone who's morbidly obese, that's going to bring a lot of other health issues, health risks. And now the woman can live to 80. Um, the man can live to, let's say he's only lived to like 60, right? So and that's going to leave the woman alone for several years and that kind of thing. So you, it's okay to think of those things and factor those things in. But the most important thing is health is wealth. Um, I've really been trying to like monitor what I eat in terms of being healthy. Um, I've noticed I've been <laughs> intaking more calories than obviously before I was pregnant. It's because I get hungrier and things like that. But I'm just trying to make sure that I'm, I'm nourishing my baby with the right things. But it's so important to be active as well. Like that helps your heart. Um, since I've upped my exercising, I feel like... Those symptoms that I had been feeling from me having COVID in October, those symptoms of being so severely like out of breath in my lung capacity, I feel like in the past maybe like four weeks from just upping my exercise, I feel like it's gone away. Um, so I'm happy about that. So exercise definitely helps. Um, I've been trying to do at least like a minimum 200 minutes a week of cardio. So you factor in, I'm in my third trimester. That's the time where I think second trimester is when people, women typically gain the most. For me, and I think and I think the third trimester is a little bit less than the second. But then the first trimester, you either gain none or you're supposed to gain up to five. That was completely different for me. I remember um, I did have COVID, so I wasn't really working out at all that month. And then like, I became I was pregnant as well and then you know I was it was I'm new I was new to pregnancy so I didn't want to like overexert myself and things like that and I wanted to make sure that I was you know being healthy for my baby and then I also had like that the kind of breathing problem for a while after COVID and you know I just feel like it's just so important for us to be active um because that is gonna determine our future. I wanna be here for my children in the future. I'm sure you all who have kids and who are potentially gonna have children in the future wanna be here for your children, wanna live a long life. You wanna be here to support your spouse. Um, my husband and I, we walked, <laughs> um, we we were in the, in the cemetery not too long ago. And we, um, there's like, there's like a, a trail around the, around the area. Some people like walk there, go on walks there with their dogs and things like that. So we came across a tombstone and um, I, I pointed something out. I was like, oh, um, this this couple, they died like within a couple months of each other. So I was just like, oh, so obviously like the one probably, you know, died of a broken heart, that kind of thing. I was like, that's the type of, that's the type of marriage I want. Like I don't want a marriage where, I want a marriage where we're both living long lives and not where one person is dying to just some health issues. I'm sure a lot of us have, um, you know, issues within our family in terms of health risks. A lot of people do, a lot of people don't, but a lot of the health risks and health issues when people say something runs in your family, a lot of it doesn't. Some things do like, um, you know, certain heart conditions and all that type of stuff, but uh, things like diabetes, high blood pressure, those are all food related illnesses. It only runs in the family, runs in the family because those are diets and habits that have been passed on within the family. So if grandparents, um, I can speak for you know my family, there's illnesses there, right? That's all related to food. And then if their children have similar illnesses, it's related to how they grew up and what they saw eating. If we now know what's healthy, it's our job to do what's right. Um, me, I'm not really a meat eater for you know my own reasons but I, I eat fish i eat beans those sorts of things um it's also really important for us to kind of monitor like our carbohydrates things like that um but one one thing i would just say is outside of us needing to be needing to exercise needing to be active just the diet you know in the united states americans eat way more meat than is necessary so even if you just cut down your meat um try to eliminate any sugar from your diet unless it's something necessary or something like every now and now and again 
Um, but yes, just make sure, you know, we are taking care of ourselves and our health. Our health is our wealth. Um, and one thing that is so true, like when I was sick, something that, you know, people always say is like, you know, you praise God while you're healthy and all those things. Because it's true, when you're sick, it's like you can't even focus on the things of God anymore. You know, I have family who, are, who aren't who are well, um, and a lot of it is due to their eating habits. And of course, I have family who, who is completely healthy as well. Um, but it's just, it's very important. So outside of like even the attraction thing with dating and weight, you know just just focus on yourself and love yourself loving yourself is eating healthy um and we can't really be people who are just constantly um you know letting ourselves be led by certain things letting ourselves be um what's so addicted to food like that gentleman i spoke about where he made a video and he was like at least 500 600 pounds and he said oh he's craving this it was a humongous salad. It was probably for about four people, and he was clearly going to eat it in that one sitting. And it it, it was it was just, it was very sad to me. Like I said, it was disturbing, but sad overall. And hey, if you're somebody who's 400, 500 pounds, you can do it. You can just make a change. And a lot of that times when people have like those severe obesity issues, a lot of it is mental. A lot of it has to do with their you know, upbring, some of it's emotional, a lot of it's emotional eating, and they may need to speak to someone, have a coach, um, prayer, and, or potentially a therapist, because even on those shows where there's weight loss involved, a lot of people who are really big in the beginning, like 400, 500 pounds, 300, once the show ends, they go back to the old habits, because it's emotional, and those things weren't dealt with, so um, you know, even some people may have had some traumas in their life and then they've gone to eating. I really encourage you to seek help outside of just trying to stop the food because if it's been a continuous issue for you throughout your life, um, it's something that you may want to address and it may not just be, you know, a simple thing of just not eating certain foods or exercising because it's probably like a yo-yo thing where you keep, um, you're in that cycle continuously. But yes, on to the final point. Yes, when dating, it is your weight matters. Um, you are going to be attracting people who are similar to you. Um, and that is, that's just normal. If you're someone who's super overweight and then you're finding that a lot of slim in shape men are after you i would if you're online i would double check your profile to see if maybe you're advertising something that is attracting them to you are you advertising that you have a home are you advertising that you seem to have money are you showing pictures of your nice car and i'm not saying that someone who is slim is not going to be interested in you but if that's all you're seeing there is something that um is attracting to those men to you and it's not for good reasons um because simply if you're overweight obese those are the type of individuals that are going to be attracted to you and me before i um you know i keep talking about like before i lost weight obviously like i'm 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 pregnant right now but when i was you know working out and things like that before i started dating and things like that before I did that, I, I had lost about like maybe 20 pounds. But before I was like 20 pounds over what I was when I started dating. And I was like a little bit chubby. And I decided, I decided that the men that I felt would probably be approaching me. Yes, there'll be some who will be interested in me. But I felt that where I was, I felt that I wasn't interested in the male equivalent of me. I did not find being chubby something that was healthy. So I said, let me get down to where I believe is healthy and then I'm going to attract those people. So I mentioned before that I was dating a couple men and at once I lost those 20 pounds and the men who approached me were, um, most of the men that were approaching me were slim men once I had lost my 20 pounds. Um, so it's just, it's just important. Just it's just a reality. Um, it makes sense. Similar to if you're a 
white man, you're probably going to be reaching out to mostly white women. If you're a black man, a man, you might be reaching out to mostly black women. Or maybe I should do that in reverse. If you're a black woman, you're probably going to be attracting mostly black men. If you're a white woman, you're probably going to be attracting mostly white men. It's just the way it goes. You're attracting what you are. Um, that's where you'll see couples sometimes where the man has blonde hair, blue eyes, and so is the woman. And you'll be like, are they siblings? But they just ended up together. You kind of like, remember what you look at in the mirror every day, you end up kind of being attracted to that. Um, <laughs> like me, I, I mean, I'm, I'm open. I've always been open to different groups of people, but my preference has always been someone who is black simply because i'm black my family is black and it's nothing against anyone who's of a different race ever so i can think it's completely normal if someone normally is interested or even like being friends with people of the race not that there's anything wrong but just like if you're in the office something like that you see groups of people who become friends and they look similar right so you'll see the hispanics become friends see the black ladies become friends see the white ladies become friends you just kind of have that um camaraderie right so you're gonna attract what you are so ladies i think it's very important just to th not to think that if you are um morbidly obese that you're ex that you're going to x out men who are unless they're slim just like if someone has if you have children i don't th i don't personally think it's good for you to x out people who have children people who have children should date other people who have children that's that's good and i'm not saying if you don't have children you can't date someone who has children that's not what i'm saying at all but my point is you know you're gonna check what you are and it's very important for you to focus on your health. Your health is important. We have one body. Our body is a vessel. We need to take care of it. And how we take care of our body is kind of a re reflection of who we are. And there's nothing wrong if, ladies, if a man is in shape, he goes to the gym, and he's looking for a woman who does this thing. And then also, you are going to relate more to people who are like you. Somebody who likes to exercise, go hiking multiple days during the week, is not really going to be a good fit of someone who doesn't like to exercise and does and does not intend to exercise and plans to, you know, sit around. Or, you know, that's not their interest, right? So, let's be real here, you know. And also, it's, it's, it's discipline. I just mentioned, like, about the emotional side of things. It's discipline. So... I can equate this with several things, right? So if there's someone who has like a lack of control, they just eat everything in sight, they only eat sweets. I actually knew someone like that. They, you know, they had like an addiction to food. They like ate sweets and whenever, I think I talked about this person before in one of my videos, they just always wanted to like, if we ever went out, they had to get like the worst meal. They added extra cheese to stuff. They asked for extra meat, extra butter. Whereas was very confusing to me because whenever I go, if I'm going to order something, I'm not adding, asking for extra nothing. <laughs> I'm just eating the food as it is. Or I'll say, oh, less salt or less something, you know. But, you know, we just have to be mindful because discipline is so important and it applies to different areas of our lives. So it could be your food that you're consuming. It can be whether or not you're taking the effort to exercise. I've been really exercising at least five days a week. Um, so I'm proud of myself for that. Um, but on that journey, right before I lost weight, I lost close to 20 pounds. And, and within a month, just by eating the correct foods um, and exercising every day, like at least 20 minutes of some cardio up to like an hour and a half. And the hour and a half was like a super slow walk on a treadmill, like slow. <laughs> How slow you have to go to be able to last an hour and a half. Um, or doing like 20 minutes of high impact cardio. And so basically the whole discipline thing that even applies to somebody who is um, has an issue with sex, right? They can't control themselves. They have addictions. Just the same way that... Most of us ladies will not be interested in someone like that who cannot control themselves, who cannot be abstinent. Um, is the same way that a certain person may not be interested in someone who is very large. Um, 
just because it can also, it represents discipline there's people who of course just simply enjoy food or maybe they were just raised that way their whole family is really big so they were taught to eat a certain way and every scenario is different but i think it's very important for us to try to you know take control of our vessel that god has given us and you know move forward and do what we have to do as um vessels for god yes yeah, so i'm excited i'm really trying to you know stay where i'm at i would love to be able to lose while pregnant but obviously there's a baby growing inside of me so you know within like the second and third trimester is when the baby actually grows and gains a lot of weight and things like that so exactly i think it's impressive that i'm not getting anything <laughs> that tells me that um my as the baby grows um you know i'm burning some unnecessary fat so yes i hope you enjoyed this video let me know if, what, this, what, what other topics you would like me to talk about and i hope you were able to understand and um see where i'm coming from so yeah i'm i'm excited and i'm ready to you know make sure i'm the best shape that i can be um for when the, when the baby comes so i will keep you all posted and if you have any questions feel free to follow back up with me hope you have a wonderful blessed evening bye